Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackie with Enjoying Life's Journey. We are going to uh, go ahead and do our July budget planning video. Uh, usually the way this works is I go through and plan out the next month uh, with you guys. I have already planned it out, so I'm going to just kind of go over what I have uh, planned out. I've had to make quite a few changes because we are buying a house, so you're going to see um, our savings is going to be spent <laughs> for the down payment for the house. If you're not familiar with the channels, I put in our income before taxes and uh, for the month, and then I also break it down for paycheck. So my husband gets paid every Friday, so that's what you're going to see here is his paychecks on Friday. Uh, and then I go through, we have our pay ourselves first category and our taxes, and this is just because I like to uh, get a better sense of how much money we're spending on everything else. Um, so I recently read a book on how to um, lower your taxes and things like that. So I want to keep track of what we're actually paying and then see what we get back. Usually we get a big um, amount back at the you know beginning of every year for the previous year. And the goal is not to have so much money back, but to keep that money uh, every month so you have more cash flow to make it start working for you so you can start investing it or doing things like that so it's not just sitting there waiting and the government has it until you know the end so that's kind of I wanted to start kind of tracking that too to see um, we made some changes with my husband's withholding so I want to compare how that ends up working out when the year is over um, and then our personal pay ourselves first our you know personal development and different savings accounts things like that uh, we have our giving which is consists consists of gifts and donations uh, and then we have down here is our necessities you know basically you guys you know rent all that stuff and then we have our fun category so that's kind of um the areas that i have so again if you're not familiar with that area so i do a zero based budget so at the beginning of the month um the way i pretty much do it is i go paycheck by paycheck to see what do we estimate that uh, we're going to make each paycheck and then that gives me my total for the month and then I can plug it in for the total um, over here. So Ricky's base pay before taxes is about $680 a week. That is basically 40 hours a week. They have started to do crank out the overtime again. So he is in construction. So anytime they start a new project, they tend to have a lot of overtime and then as that project starts to be finished um, or you know when it finishes then they kind of go back just to the 40 hours while they get ready for the next project and then you know so it's kind of like this cycle so they're back into the overtime they were doing basically 10 hour days so that was 10 hours of overtime but now they've added in Saturday um, so here for the 6th and the 13th they did they worked Saturdays for the, so I know when he gets paid on those days, um, those are going to be the, they actually worked 10 hours on those Saturdays. So it's going to be $510 before tax. And then what I did for the rest of the month, because I'm, we're not positive, we know he's working Saturday, but we don't know if he's going to do eight hours or 10 hours. So I went ahead and just budgeted the lesser amounts. So I budgeted the eight hours. So that would bring us to $459 for those two weeks. So for the total for the month, he should be able to earn about $1,938 just in overtime. So he's he's rocking it. He's doing great. So like I said, we're, we're buying a house this month. So we have a lot of stuff going on. Myself, not looking as good as previous months. I was bringing in about $200. Uh, July, I'm only looking at about $41, $42. Um, and then here is savings. So this is an income that we're having this month. But this is money from our savings account that we need to um, spend. So before, I wasn't really documenting when we spent anything from savings, I would just um, subtract my total. So I keep track of all my accounts. So if you're not sure what all my accounts are, I have a whole separate video on how many accounts I have, what they're for, and all of that fun stuff. Uh, so usually, if I had spent something out of savings, I would just adjust the total over here. And I would say, okay, I spent $200 out of this savings, um, so now I have $2,000. Um, and I wasn't really documenting it um, within the budget. So I decided to start documenting it in the budget one because I am sharing this with you guys. I want you to see, um, you know, I'm very transparent. So I want you to see where is um, the money going. Um, and also for my personal self so I can document it and I can look back on it um, previous, you know, in the, the future months or years. And I can I can see patterns and I can start seeing, OK, you know what? We've been dipping into our savings at these different times. And I can remind myself what that was for. 
and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start trying to remember to document this stuff for you guys. Basically, you know, our emergency fund and the down payment for the house savings that we've been using um, will be will virtually be spent for the down payment for the house. Um, so we'll be starting baby step three over again. <laughs> I feel like we've started baby step three like three times. Like we've reached it and then we've, we've restarted a few times. So I'm hoping we'll be done with all that. So Ricky's 401k, so we because we are reaching baby step four, which is to start investing 15% of your income, um, we are starting at just 3% because we are um, basically going to restart that baby step three. Um, normally you just wouldn't even invest anything until you um, reach that, uh, but I just, I can't sit around and not invest anything yet. So we're starting at 3%. Uh, and then once we get our emergency fund back up to where we want it to be, then we will start increasing that. And the goal is to have a, a Roth IRA for my husband and myself. I don't know if we'll have them open before the year is over because you have to have a certain amount to even get started with it. So we'll have to we'll keep you guys posted for that. So roughly 3% before taxes for the month would um, be $139.74 is what we should be able to um, continue to invest in. Ricky's 401k. So um, federal tax, we're looking at $23.08. Arizona state tax, we're looking at $85.68. Medicare, we're looking at $71.40. And then Social Security, we're looking at $295.12. Uh, these are automatically deducted from his paycheck. Um, and then what's left is what we have. So I have here, you know, basically the 401k comes out before taxes, then all the taxes come out, and then we have the rest of the money pretty much to go with. So the savings, I changed this instead of down payment for the house because now we will be moving into the house. I just put house savings. We are going to have to purchase a refrigerator. We are going to have to purchase um, some type of window treatments, blinds or curtains or something because it doesn't have anything, um, at least on a few of the windows. So we want to make sure we have privacy right away. Um, and then we will take our time and save up for a washer and dryer. Um, so these, it now becomes the house savings. This is stuff that we have to purchase for the house to make sure it's um, comfortable or livable. So we're looking at $1,743.34. In addition, this um, house savings will also in, be counted as emergency savings uh, moving forward. So we're going to just basically say, hey, this is all savings um, and use what we need to use where. Um, you'll see that when I do the August budget, how um, we'll start kind of splitting that up. So you'll kind of see that moving forward. Ricky's money, a $100, uh, myself, $100. I don't have anything planned really for my money this month. Last month I spent it when we went to Las Vegas for a business trip. Uh, so, you know, if I need to, I will, I will actually be using my money in addition to anything for the house. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the business, again, we're putting $100 um, basically reinvesting $100 back into the business every month. The goal is in next year, 2019, is that uh, we should not be putting any more of our personal money into the business and it should be running itself. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. That would be a goal. Uh, gifts, we do $100 every month into our giving savings account. We still have $100 in there right now. My birthday is July 9th, so I'm going to be 36 years old. Awesome. So we will probably spend a portion of this. We are thinking about just going camping just one night um, because Ricky is working Saturdays. So uh, we'll we'll see um, what we actually end up spending versus if we're still going to save any of that. Um, and then down to the necessities. So like I mentioned, we are buying a house. Now, um, I want to thank you guys who joined me on my live stream. I did a random live stream from my cell phone on Friday. Um, and I kind of gave you guys the little update that we were buying a house. We are still waiting to hear from the seller if they are going to fix the issues with the house. Um, there's, you know, one major issue is the air conditioner. So if they are not willing to fix it or replace it, um, then we're out um, because that's a huge expense that, or that's going to be a future huge expense to us um, that we just do not want to deal with. So if we're still waiting to hear. It's Monday. It's still early in the morning. I have, we haven't heard anything. But, you know, we really like the house. I'm hoping that it works out. But what we have here, basically, um, $425 will be 
um, you know, if they if they accept to fix the problems and they start fixing the problems, then we can order the appraisal on the house. We that's uh, my lender told me that would be four hundred twenty five dollars. They set that up, um, and then the remainder at closing that we will need to pay will be seven thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars. So um, that's you know this is orange because this is money that we technically we already have this money. It's just sitting in the savings account um, waiting. So once they say, okay, we're going to pay this, then I will transfer it to a checking account and then pay it that way. Um, we will still have to pay rent two months. So this is for August rent right here, and then we'll have to pay September's rent. Our mortgage, we're expecting to close on the house on July 23rd. Our mortgage payments will not start until basically two months from when we close, so September, middle of September. It would be nice to have a month where we didn't have any payment rent and no mortgage payment, but it's just kind of the way things are falling together. That's okay, but that's nine hundred ninety-six dollars and thirteen cents. That's the rent and water here. Renters' insurance at the apartment is eleven dollars and eight cents. Um, and again, if you guys aren't, if you don't know what's going on here, these are from these paychecks. That's when I want to make sure I am using the money or I have the money put aside specifically for that expense. For groceries, we basically do $70 a week. So we count our weeks from paycheck to paycheck. So we have four paychecks that needs to cover four weeks worth of groceries. So $280. Personal care, we are not going to do anything this month. We're not going to do any haircuts or anything like that. Household, we're just putting $25 aside. That's usually for if we need any more dish soap or uh, paper towels. I'm not sure if we're going to need that or not. We'll find out cell phone ricky's cell phone is 35 dollars our electricity i originally thought we were going to do better than last year but we're actually it's it's so hot this year it seems like maybe it's hotter this year i don't know but we're looking at 110 versus 100 so that's you know it's still pretty low we're in an apartment which is nice gas we're looking at 140 dollars car insurance is 120 dollars and 13 cents motorcycle insurance is 21 dollars and 16 cents Arcadia's commission jobs, we're doing $32. And then Elsa basically $12, $12 for the month. So this family life insurance and Ricky's long-term disability, these are uh, these also come out of Ricky's paycheck automatically um, before. So we're looking at about $22.36 for our family's life insurance and then Ricky's long-term disability about $13.48. Uh, and then we do have a secured credit card right now this actually helped Ricky um, because we paid all of our debt off in 2016. So when the lender ran Ricky, Ricky's credit, um, the credit score wasn't reporting. So the credit history was still really good, but there was no score because we didn't have anything um, current. So we did the secured card. They estimated that his score would report a month later and it would report at about 680. It, it actually reported at 730. So it was actually a lot higher than we thought just from a simple secured credit card. So basically we paid Discover $300. So it's our own money. We charge, we basically just put gas in the car, $20 and we get 2% cash back. That's kind of cool. Um, so we just do twenty dollars. We leave that on um, for the month, and then we just we paid it, and then we just charged another twenty dollars. So we're you know we're just doing this until we're uh, basically officially in the house, um, and then you know we may keep that card and utilize it for the cash back purposes because it is technically our own money. We haven't um, we're not borrowing money from anyone else. It's our own three hundred dollars, or we could choose to close the card and get the full three hundred back. So we'll kind of. I'll keep you posted on what we decide to do with the card. But for now, we're just doing the 20 on it uh, until we're in the house, just in case they need to pull his report um, one more time. We don't know. And then the last category is our fun category. So we're just doing $100. Um, I say this every month that I, I budget $100. We always spend more like 250 That's like what we've been doing. So this month, because I'm really, 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 really like, you know, we have a lot of extra things to buy for the house. I am not eating out. I am making a commitment that in July I am not eating out. Uh, we do not purchase like juice and soda normally for the house anyways, but if I eat out, then I, you know, we go to fast food. When I say eat out, I mean fast food. When we go to fast food, we always end up getting soda. So my goal for July for one finance and two for my health is I'm not eating any fast food and I'm not drinking any soda. So we'll see how that goes. 
yeah, so basically I zero based budget. So I've told every dollar where to go. And this really helps out by budgeting every paycheck. Or even if you got paid, you know, twice, you know, we got paid twice a month, then budget out each paycheck because it really helps you um, with your cash flow and you can make you like you're never late. You see far enough, so you're never late on any bills or anything like that. So yeah, so um we're super excited about the house. I'm just, I keep checking, I'm waiting to hear back if the seller's going to do anything. I know they're going to have to send out their own inspection people, so um, I'm hoping they got that. I'm hoping they had someone look at the house over the weekend. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. And then join me uh, Wednesday. I'm going to put up our budget report for June, and you can see, you know, we did have to spend some savings as well because we started um, the home buying process so I'll go over that more. I am going to be making a few different videos specifically on the whole process of buying the house uh, so stay tuned for those. I'm going to be trying to post those on um, the rest of the month on Monday so you know if you want to hear anything more about the home buying process you can expect to see those on Mondays and then uh, this week on Friday I will be going over my monthly goals report from June and we'll see what how I accomplish what I accomplished from everything else. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.